Hello, I'm Carleen from Aravin. I'm here with Sorrel Gilbert, who's a program manager with Mercury Systems. So what I'd like to know is, how can systems thinking be applied within mega projects? Thanks. So, so systems thinking is a way of looking at the world. Um, basically, it's, not, it's making sure that you're not just looking at one snapshot or one small part of the world. It's looking at the system as a whole. Now, it's really useful in complex projects where there's lots of parts arts and interactive bits and lots of different actions taking place. Um, the first idea I'd like to bring in is um, design, taking a design turn. So taking a design turn is the idea that you can't control everything, but you can direct your project in the right direction. And when you're working on a mega project, there's loads of people doing different things. So you've really got to have the strategy in place. And then you look at it as if you've thrown a pebble in, a, in, in some water and the ripples come out. And it means that you can uh, and you can also direct on choose exactly what. Another idea that systems thinking uses that's very useful for the longer term projects where you're really trying to change hearts and minds. When you think of cross rail where they're knocking down buildings, you um, the idea is called um, it's not linear causal thinking. So linear causal thinking is the normal thinking. So you've knocked down a building, that's terrible. You've got to then look at the interactions that, that has with the rest of the world, you knock down a building, but that then means something else happens. And it may change what you do with the next bit of the project. Um, so it's that continual learning throughout the project. Right, it sounds like you're using elements of, of risk management there. Yes, I think risk is the really, it, it's basically just risk management. It's about change. And the, one of the biggest sort of failings in larger projects is to do with the risk and the unforeseen changes and systems thinking there's lots of ideas like causal loop diagrams rich pictures where you can try and predict the things that might happen great thanks a lot Sarah. thanks